This training video is on the use of the export button found in Song Surgeon version 4. And let's begin by doing a quick review of what exporting does. Exporting will create an entirely new file and it will embed the changes that you've made in the song that's open on your screen into that new file. So it creates an audio file in any one of the standard audio file formats that you can then use in any other audio player. So let's look at our options when it comes to exporting. Now as you can see on the screen I've got a couple of loops set up. Uh, I've changed the tempo in some of these loops and we'll explain um, this in a little more detail as we go along. But when we go to the export button we can see we've got several options. The first of these is the current loop and it says L3 which is this loop over here and the reason it says L3 is the current loop is because we've selected it and what do I mean by that? Well you see the progress indicator this little white line it's within loop 3 that means it's been selected as the current loop if we were to move that to loop 1 as I just have and look here and now current loop is set as loop 1 so when we export current loop in this case loop 1 it will export only the data contained within this loop and it will export it and it will create a new file of that data and that tempo is set at 50 percent so essentially it means that this data in here will play back at 50 percent. If we look at our next option it says all loops so what that means is that I have three loops on the screen. This first one is at 50% as we've just looked at previously. This next one is at 75 and this last one is back at 50%. So if we select export all loops, what it will do is it will put these three loops, loop 1, 2, and 3, it will put them back to back. In essence, it will erase the data in front of loop 1 between loop 1 and loop 2, between loop 2 and loop 3, and after the end of loop 3. It will erase all of that data basically putting these three green highlighted or shaded areas back to back. And when it does that it will change the tempo of each of those. Again this first one is at 50 percent so it's going to make this at 50 percent. This will play at 75 percent and this will play back at 50 percent. So it's going to put those three back to back in a brand new file that you'll create and that's how they would play back. The next option is entire song. Let's talk about what that means. Obviously it's pretty straightforward. It will export the entire song, but let's review what it will do. These three loops as we've been looking at them have different tempo settings. So when we export the entire song, it's going to export the entire song at 100% tempo, except for these three loop areas, which it will export them at their prescribed settings. In this case, 50, 75, and 50 again. So essentially it's going to export the entire song, but it's going to have these spots or places within the song that are going to play back at different speeds because we have the loops set up around them. And that's how Song Surgeon exports the entire song when there are loops. If there weren't any loops, then it would essentially export the entire song at whatever tempo you have the entire song set at or whatever key change that you made to the entire song. The last setting here is as a portable Song Surgeon project file. Let me explain what this is. Portable Song Surgeon project file is not a standard audio file. It's sort of a combination of a project file and a standard audio file because essentially it contains both of those. It contains a .ssp file which is a Song Surgeon project file and it contains the audio file for that. And it basically bundles those together in such a way that it allows you to take that song or to take that file once it has been exported and to move it to another computer that has Song Surgeon on it. And when you do that and open it up, then Song Surgeon will actually open up on the screen the exact same characteristics that you see on this screen. It will have these three loops, it will have the loops set at the particular speeds that we have them indicated in this particular song. Essentially it allows you to move the project from one computer to the other computer. 
There's one last thing we need to speak about before we conclude this video on exporting. And that is something that you will encounter once you begin the export process. In this case, I'm selecting current loop, which is just this loop here. And it opens up a typical dialog box and it asks us to name the file, to select the file type, and you can select any one of the different file types. But what I want to focus on is this thing at the bottom, which is export duplicate count, which by default is set at one, which simply means that when you go to export this chunk of data, it's going to make one copy of it. Simple as that. But what you can do is obviously change this to 5, 10, 15, whatever you want. So if we change that to 5 and then ask it to go ahead and export it, what it will do is it will make five copies of this data and it will put them back to back. So you might ask why do we want to do that or why would you want to do that? And the reason is pretty simple. One of the powerful features of opening and using Song Surgeon is that you can get something to loop repetitively. But once you export it, you're exporting just a piece of data, and although you can slow it down, it's going to play through as a standard audio file, meaning it plays once and then you're done. So you don't really have any way to get that repetition that you had in Song Surgeon. And what this export count does, it is a way to sort of mimic the type of repetition that you would otherwise get in Song Surgeon if you were playing it in Song Surgeon, but it allows you to get that in a standard audio file that is something you can play back anywhere, whether you burn it to a CD or put it on your MP3 player or iPod or anywhere else. So that's why you might want to do this. And that's the beauty of having it in Song Surgeon. So with that, we'll conclude this video tutorial on the export button in Song Surgeon version 4.